so much of our freedom of speech talking about freedom of speech. And most of the time, in at least my experience, we don't have to. Um, for instance, on the Amazing Atheist's latest video, uh, someone pointed out that, uh, in the comment section, that stupid people have a right to say stupid things, just as much as smart people have a right to say smart things, or something to that effect. Uh, that's a very loose paraphrase, but the general idea is there. But, but, but the thing is, TJ didn't at all say anything about stupid people not having a fucking right to say stupid shit. All he said was, hey, you're stupid, and if you're gonna bother with it, why not be more intelligent? You know, or I would prefer it, that you were more intelligent when you comment on my videos. It in no way says that stupid people don't have the fucking right to comment on my videos, and it doesn't say stupid people don't have the fucking right to say stupid things. This kind of shit comes up all the time, especially in discussions of theism and atheism. Uh, well, you'll have a very experienced uh, atheistic debater who's very uh, well-versed in the arguments and the logic behind it all and has prepared responses for the general... Uh, uh, theistic philosophical arguments and all this kind of stuff and he'll he or she will inevitably end up in a position where they're talking with more people about it and there's going to be one person who's going to go well you know they have the right to believe what they want to believe and every time that's ever happened to me and it, it happens a decent bit and it happens more in the fucking South, where ignorance about religion is incredibly high. Now, I don't really have too much of a comparison. I haven't lived long term anywhere else but the South, but it, it's pretty bad here. I can just know, I just know that. I don't need comparisons. So I'm not trying to blow it out of proportion or play it on. I'm just saying there's a significant amount of religious ignorance down here, at least in what I've come into contact with. Um,. And so every time someone's like, well, they have a right to believe what they want to believe. I, I just want to slap them in the face and say, no fucking shit. Of course they have the right to believe what they want to believe. And I have the fucking right to disagree with them and state, that, and state this. I can go, hey, I disagree with you. And here's why. It, it, that's not at all anything about their right to believe or their right to say or any fucking thing like this. Criticizing someone is far from being the same thing as demanding their silence. There's a huge difference. Especially for in using my same example of the rational atheist who's well versed in the philosophical arguments, enjoys uh, the intellectual discussions about religion, uh, even if he doesn't, he or she doesn't believe in them uh, them, themselves. I'll just fuck with the gender and whatnot. I'm going to do that. When you refer to a mystical plural other people. Um. So so. It, it, it's... What was I fucking saying? Oh yeah. Disagreeing or criticizing someone is far from being the same thing as saying, Hey, I want you to shut up because you don't have the right to say it. Now, even something as demanding someone's silence isn't saying you don't have the right to say it. It could still be just an opinion of, Yes, I would like it if you would shut the fuck up right now. Now, usually it's given more of, more as a command, and then that... Actually, I don't know where that would go. I don't really want to follow down that line of thinking at the moment, dealing with rights. I'm mostly just wanting to complain, because these kind of videos I can do quickly and get up and out there. Uh, it's just more fun to rant to a camera than it is to read a prepared essay of some kind. kind. Um... So I don't, I, I'm just confused, I guess. I don't understand why people feel the need to respond to criticism by saying, well, I have the right to believe in what I believe. As I said earlier, no fucking shit. That's not what the debate, that's not what the question is, that's not what the issue we're trying to discuss is, and it almost never fucking is. 
When, when, when you discuss freedom of speech, we, we are never discussing it in, in the real way that our rights are being infringed upon. Now, I do know that there are discussions like that out there. I've participated in them. And, you know, especially with uh, uh, recent Supreme Court rulings uh, in this country about, uh, you know, corporations being people and able to donate to campaigns, all that kind of stuff. It's raising a lot of these questions about it. But for the most part, the lay people discussion about freedom of speech always boils down to I have the right to say or believe what I want. And you have to respect that. Yeah. No fucking shit. Of course I respect your desire to believe whatever you want to believe. I just don't fucking agree and I have criticisms, I have complaints. It's just fucking confusing. It, 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 it's one of these things that only takes two goddamn seconds of thought if you actually sat down and went, Oh, that discussion's not about rights whatsoever. I guess I won't bring them up out of nowhere. How, how is this a hard conclusion to make? Why are these stupid conclusions ever being made? Why are these... I'm trying to think of something. I'm try, I wasn't trying. I was about to say, you know, stupid motherfucking, but for some reason I decided against the cursing. I don't know why. I've been... It's a weird time for me right now. I'm having to go between places where I gotta censor myself and places where I don't. Um... Much to my chagrin. Uh, but I won't... I, I won't... I won't into that. I'll leave it at this, and I don't know why I flipped you off, but I did.